is Hooked by Happenstance, and I'm Kendra, and this is Peachlet, my fibery doppelganger, and she's joining me today for our summer series, Let Peachlet Pick My Fair Projects. So, the county fair is coming up in about five weeks around here, and I like to enter many, many things. But I'm kind of in a spin about which of those things to work on, so Peachlet here is going to help me decide. Now, not all of the projects on my list are crochet, but a lot of them are. And some of them are actually even already done. All I have to do is go and find them where they are stored in my house and get them ready to show at the fair. So Peachlet is going to do a little spin here. We shall pick one of her numerous clips. There were 19 to begin with, and this is the second time. So we're gonna just give her a spin, pick a clip, and then that is going to be the project that I am going to focus on next. Ready, Peachlet? Time to pick our fair projects. Spin you around and this one right here. What number do you think it is? What number do you think it is? She doesn't have a mouth. I love that about her. Okay, the number is 18. We go pull out my list and find out what project number 18 is. So number 18, according to my list here, is Other Picture. So what I was planning on doing for that is taking an old window from our house, of which we have many because we replaced all of the windows at one point a few years ago. And so I have been doing some glass painting on them over time. So what I would like to do is paint a new glass piece to put on our porch that matches our new color scheme. If you have not seen, we've repainted our porch in some fun, actually, very much green, blue, pink. They're very fun and vibrant colors. And I would like to paint a window to put on our porch out there. And this will be just the kick in the pants that I need to get started on that project because I have a few weeks to get it done and I'm going to uh, put some energy toward that. So first thing tomorrow morning, I will start working on painting my other picture. What I am making here is this window. It's gonna have five flamingos on it you know, because there's five of us. There's two big ones and three little ones, and yeah. So the way that I do my glass painting is I like the painting to end up on the back side. That way the front will be glass that can be cleaned so I can actually hang this outside or wherever, but I can clean it so it is usable. So I thought I would show you how I did this before I cover it all up because it will eventually be beautiful from one side and it will look like just one color from the back. So I went online and I looked up a Google search for flamingo outline or something and I poked around till I found something I liked. Okay, white balance. Okay, so I found this flamingo and actually the original image was smaller than this so I pruned it at 150% because that made it so that the big ones would fill up most of the frame. Then this is the same image printed at 50%, which I tried and decided was too small. So I tried it again, and this is the same image at 75%. So it is like half as big as this one. And I put those on and I traced them all. The way that I do that is I tape the image to the back side of the glass. So the side that I'm ultimately going to paint on. I tape the image to that. And then I used a Sharpie on the front side, the side that's going to ultimately show, and I traced the image. Then I took the paper off when I was done with all of them, and I turned it back over, so now I'm on the back side again. And I took just plain black acrylic paint and a plain brush, which is somewhere, and I, oh, here it is. Ah, tape is sticking in my hand. So then I took this uh, plain brush, and I went over that outline that I drawn in Sharpie. So then you have the black outline and I painted in the legs and stuff. Then as that dried, so it took me a while to get around, then I went back and I added just a little smoosh of yellow at the top of each beak. So it'll be a little bit of a yellow dot for the color. And then I mixed pink, the pink paint I'm gonna use for the flamingo. I mixed some of that with some white to make a slightly lighter color. I just went and put these little dots on so it'll look a little bit like feathers when it's done. I also added one white dot to each of their faces for an eye. Then I'm gonna let this all dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna take the pink and I'm just gonna do a coat that goes over all of the clear stuff that's open inside the black outline. 
And then when that all dries, probably tomorrow by then, I'm gonna put a coat of paint over the entire thing. I need to decide what color if I'm gonna do the blue or the green or a combination. It'll do a combination because I think this is gonna go hang on the porch, so it'll then match the color scheme out there. So that is my plan. I just thought I would show you what's going on. I'll show you after I put the pink coat on, but this is when all the magic happens. And basically what you're doing is since you're you want the front to be cleanable. You're building on the back, so you have to think of the layers in reverse. So instead, you'd usually think, okay, so we're gonna make a pink shape, and then you're gonna color the yellow, and then you color the black, and you put the outline on. You do all of that in reverse, and you end up with a kind of neat result. I've done this before, um, but it's been a while. So, looking forward to finishing this, and again, this is a window that was removed. Stop, cat. <sighs> But this is a window that was removed from um, our house. We had our new windows put in. After the layer I showed you before, I went ahead and put the pink over all of it. And I actually did two coats of the pink. And then let me flip it over so you can see. It's pretty cute. Here is what it looks like right now from the front. I want to turn it over so I can make sure um, if you can see too much through the color, then it means it's gonna need another coat. Anyways, I think it will be just fine as it is. This is the finished flamingo picture. Today I went in and I did a coat of blue. I actually did two coats of the blue, and this blue is the exact porch paint that is on our porch. I just went ahead and used that, which it's latex paint, so it's a little thicker than the acrylic I was using for everything else, but I think it turned out nice. There was a few little things that are, I don't know, less than ideal. There's some little bits kind of along the edge here that kind of lifted when I was putting on the coat of blue. This line did something weird, I don't know. So even with its imperfections, I really like it as far as putting it up at my house. It's gonna hang on the wall on our porch. This morning my hub and stance saw it when he came home and he was very excited about it and the kids were all like, oh you made flamingos when they woke up. So everybody is really excited about it and can't wait for me to hang it up. I did today buy a hanger for it. I got one of these little hook sets this time, um, which is gonna have little screws that put these little thingies in and then you wire between them. I've made these windows before and I've used the little sawtooth hangers and the, the little like naily pin things that you knock in aren't quite long enough to put up with the slight constant movement that hanging one of these on my porch gets, at least not in the place I'm putting this one because there will be some slight movement but I assume that by putting the, the wire on and then I'm probably gonna put cup hooks into the side of my house so that the wire can actually, or like something that has a hook to it, so that the, the wire can, can have a little bit of movement without you know ruining the whole thing. So I am really happy with how this turned out. And I don't know how it's gonna place at the fair, but I'm gonna take it. I think people will look at it and be like, oh, flamingos. So if nothing else, it'll be a fun thing for people to see. And most of all, it'll be something cool to have on our house. And it'll match our new porch, which we are currently in the process of like, you know, rehabbing. Because we just can't get enough of doing those projects. So thanks for joining me. I will keep you up to date on my progress on this project. If you have not already, subscribe down below so that these videos will pop up in your subscription feed every time I put them out and you can keep track of my Aunt Peachless progress on our fair projects from now through July. I'll see y'all later. Bye.